everybody. It is Friday. It is the Bluefin Hangout. And by request, orange, yellow, and red for the Astros. Not an Astros jersey. It's a Nolan Ryan jersey. I don't like the <laughs> Astros. My son's middle name is Nolan. Love, love the Astros. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday here with my two best buds, Justin and AJ. AJ, well, how you doing? Doing great. It's Friday. Friday. Yeah. Just Friday. 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 <laughs> we're going to change the Friday now. <laughs> how are you doing today, Justin? I am great. I've heard Tally Ho like 18 times today. <laughs> that's that's amazing. It's going to make it happen. It's going right? to be stuck in my head. <laughs> One day I'm just going to say Tally Ho to someone. <laughs> Yeah, I got no complaints, man. Oh, Go yeah. on vacation next week. Wow. Gonna be relaxing and enjoying myself, and um, I'm excited. So, yeah, so next week there will not be a traditional Bluefin hangout. Uh, Justin and I will not be in the studio, but AJ and Mr. David Clark will be here filling in. Um, they're going to be doing a very special Common Rider panel. Mm -hmm. Just remember that next week is New York Comic Con. Uh, so, starting on Thursday at bluefinbrands.com, we're going to have a number of exclusives from Storm, from Flame, from Sentinel. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, There'll probably be a contest and a lot of other cool stuff that we'll unveil later on next week. Uh, but make sure that you are following at Bluefin Brands across all social platforms and uh, you'll be in the know, as the kids say. Ooh. I don't know how they say that, but all right. In the know? <laughs> in the know. <laughs> I don't know what kids say anymore. I have to yeah. I have to use Urban Dictionary on <laughs> Internet Speak like every day. I have no idea what people are talking about anymore. Like the abbreviations and acronyms. I'm like, uh -huh. what What does these three letters mean? <laughs> what does if you know, you know mean? <laughs> yeah, I had to look that one up oh, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. I know. I was like, this has got to mean something. I Y K Y K. <laughs> I F K I Y K or something. I felt so old. I did that last night. That was so funny. If you know, you know. Uh -huh. Now I know. And I'm excited. <laughs> hey, maybe let's get this one out of the way. A mall. Mall Salem. Uh, oh, talk, talking about the logo, um, yeah, we unveiled a new logo uh, last night at mm -hmm. 5 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, uh, we'll say uh, mixed. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, it, it's, been, it's been a fun time. Uh, you know, it is, uh, if, you, if you read the press release that comes with it, it comes with a new kind of messaging and branding, mm -hmm. uh, you know, trying to kind of a mission statement from Bandai Namco. And uh, I think it's going to make an amazing neon light behind Ooh. Justin and AJ's head one day. Um, you know, and it's a it's a fun color. Yeah, pink yeah, is in. Pink and magenta are in. Magenta? <laughs> very eye catching. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the uh the little chat bubble. Mm. I think it's cool. It's uh you know, Japan is known for their awesome manga and uh just kind of <laughs> that's in this it works that's in the new statement too. Yeah, yeah. So it just kind of pops. So I'm I'm all for it. Yeah, absolutely. So today we're gonna be talking about Star Wars Visions. Uh, of course, it debuted on Disney Plus mm -hmm. last week. We wanted to give you guys a week to watch it, so we didn't spoil it all for you. Uh, it is nine episodes. It's uh like most they're like between thirteen and nineteen minutes. I don't think any of them are over twenty. Maybe one of them is like twenty two minutes. So. Uh, but that's with credits, uh, which are usually like three minutes long. So they're really easy to get through. Disney Plus dumped all of them at once. It wasn't a week by week thing like they typically do for their shows. Uh, we binged the heck out of them. Uh, I think uh, from my point of view, there were some that I really loved, some I liked, and some I was just kind of eh, it's fine. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say any of them were bad. Uh, but they're just some that hit more than others. So. Uh, AJ, did you watch them all in one sitting or did you watch them over like several sittings? I will say I did get up to get a lunch, <laughs> to get a quick snack and then come back to watch it. So I would say one sitting, you know, if not leaving my house counts. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll make it count. It okay, does. cool. <laughs> what about you, Justin? Did you watch, how many sittings did it take you to get through all that? Uh, it took me two. I watched the first four and then I plowed through five through nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First one really caught my eye, though. I was like, holy smoke, especially since we have all those Meisho figures, which I have in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very reminiscent of our, our Meisho line. And um, yeah, I was I was here for it. That, that umbrella of death was pretty gnarly. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I want I to like, choose Whoa. one of those at the park now. Right. I would like that lightsaber. How do I get that? <laughs> Just trolling at yeah. the park. I, I don't know why Darth Mary Poppins hasn't caught on. Yeah. Here we go. It could catch on now. Whoa, we made it catch oh. on. Darth Marie Poppins. <laughs> Maybe it has. And everyone's like in the chat, like, idiot, it's been all over the internet. So. Right. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Yeah, yeah, that one was cool. But it totally reminded me of the May Show. And mm -hmm. of course, we have a couple of these here. We had the Rona May Show that uh, got shipped out earlier this year. Uh, went on sale about a year ago this time during New York Comic Con, which oh, was man. awesome. And then we had the newly announced, um, the new one that has the little Grogu and the, and the yeah, cart. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. That's available for pre-order right now. Uh, with any retailer that sells Tomashi Nation's items, basically. Uh, but it's $140, and you get your your Mando in the Beskar armor, as well as a little Grogu, and he's adorable. And a little push cart. Little, yeah. <laughs> you got to have the push cart for that. It's one of those accessories I just want for right. no reason. <laughs> Filling up with groceries. It'll uh -huh. be amazing. Yeah, speaking of 
kind of the Mandalorian. They released that key art for Book of Boba Fett, too. Yes. Oh. Simpson on his throne, just looking like someone you don't want to mess with. December 29th, I yeah. think, is when that starts. Very, very end of the year. Yeah. That's all, I think it's like on a Wednesday. Oh, really? Like, yeah. We can talk about that eventually. <laughs> Ooh, ring in the new year with Bubba Fett. Yeah. All right. Phoenix Shen. <laughs> I'm excited. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, it was it was cool, man. I, I definitely uh, dug the the first episode a lot. Yeah. That that set the the tone for me. I was ready to go. So mm-hmm. then I started plowing. Um I think the first time when that first episode, I'm like, oh, it's not really in color. And I'm like, it's like no, it's a style choice. And then as the episode finished, that was really good. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I like how it ended. One hundred percent. Um I'll just you might have noticed these model kits here on the table, and these are sort of a preview of a giveaway that we're going to be having next week. Uh, we're going to have several giveaways. We're going to have six oh. giveaways. This is just one. This is going to be on our TikTok, so be sure to follow us at Bluefin Brands on TikTok. Uh, this contest will go live on Monday at approximately noon o'clock on Pacific time. Noon o'clock. Uh, whenever we get around to it, we're shooting for 12. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're out of bed at that point on a Monday, but we'll figure it out. But all you got to do is watch the video, like it, share it, uh, leave a comment. Tell us what you love about Star Wars, what your favorite lightsaber color is, um, who your favorite Jedi or Sith is, whatever. Just leave us a comment. Let us know your love for Star Wars. Who's it's your, simple. Who is your favorite Star Wars character? Mine is Luke Skywalker. AJ, oh. who's yours? Or like R2-D2. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. The, the R2 droid in the first episode is pretty cool, too. Yeah. He's like the hero. It's like, by the time this pot is done boiling, this thing better be working. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The droids are always so cool. Uh, and lightsaber color, Justin. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go with purple because check this out. What this... the? Whoa, right? <laughs> like, like, well, I you can't see in the in the on the camera, but this is a purple lightsaber. Oh, uh, I built can see it, it's purple. Built it at Disneyland, and it's pretty awesome. Love. It. I have a little rancor tooth. I don't mean to take your head off, AJ, but oh, okay. it's like sharp, you know. Yeah. Both, both ends of yours are sharp. I uh, know. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's heavy. It's beefy, and you can even switch out colors too. So, like, in the event that yeah, you, know, you get tired of. Of rocking out the prints in purple. Oh, um, I actually have a yellow kyber crystal and a red one for when I'm in a, you know, it's, it's like a mood ring where if what? I'm in a bad mood, <laughs> it gets the gets the red color saber. But you don't have very a happy mood? Stuff. Well, it's kind of purple. <laughs> I like the <to> party. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think you see like a little ejector coil at the bottom of your mm-hmm. lightsaber, and then you're almost at your ass spinning lightsaber. Choose the rancor tooth out, right? Mm-hmm. Like a go go gadget rancor tooth shooter. Yeah, that'd be sweet. You're just like. Pocket teeth. <laughs> Just throw stuff at people. Uh, but someone, uh, Chris Cooper, yeah, I see your comment here on the uh, the Maceo mm-hmm. Archers. And no, we don't have them in. In fact, we had this beautiful Maceo display over there that I just kind of took apart to add to this uh, the stream. I'm like, AJ, I need your help. And I just kept throwing them more and more figures. We actually had this whole table fold up, but or filled up rather, but had mm-hmm. to take some out to make room for the, the model kits. But yeah, I think the drummer and the archer are two of my favorites. They looked all good to me. <laughs> yeah. One with the spear was really cool, too. Uh-huh. I like that one guy. But yeah, in the vein of, what was it called? The Duel? Was the Duel. Yeah. The I was like, we're getting some May show out here. Yeah, I think like the moment like some of the troopers even showed up, I'm like, oh, I do like my movie realization of figures, so... Glad that we had them. Yeah, yeah. it was At cool. Least for the, display. It was cool. <laughs> the studios behind these episodes are, you know, big anime houses and stuff like that. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. so the duel was done by the people who did like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and stuff like do that. Like so. my JoJo's. That's one of your faves, AJ. <laughs> I do. The J is pronounced like an H. It's Ho Ho's Adventure. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's like Espanol. There you go. So, would you say the duel was your favorite episode, Justin? Uh, it's pretty good, but I also liked um, Skipping, 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 The Ninth Jedi. That one was oh, that's, really good. That's like one of my favorite ones. That one was right a bunch there. of shenanigans yeah. on that one. Yeah, that's done by Production IG, who did Ghost in the Shell. There I believe go. it. They did some good stuff. I think, you know, are we, are we keeping this spoiler free? Or are we? Uh, I think it's been 10 days. Sure, 10 <laughs> days is time. It's enough time. If you don't want to be spoiled, you know, <laughs> then turn away. But there's not a ton to spoil, you know. Yeah. It's, maybe it's canon, maybe not canon, but it doesn't involve, you know, Luke and Leia and all of them yeah. directly. So. I think like the moment, even on like Ninth Jedi, where I was like, okay, cool. We got the one that I would like is blue. And then everyone else, like they turned theirs on. I'm like, why are they all red? Whoa, what, what is this twist? Yeah. yeah. yeah like, those are moment. reserved for the bad guys. <laughs> we all got red ones. <laughs> Maybe you were absent that day in Jedi school, but those are the bad guy weapons. Yeah. yeah. That's probably my favorite favorite moment in all of Visions is, uh, yeah, when they light the lightsabers and like, Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely the same impression I had seeing that. As soon as they went up, I missed something here. Yeah. <laughs> I had to look back. I'm like, there was either they said something or anything like that. But and it totally nope. plays on your expectations. So like the pretty and handsome and like well put together people uh-huh. you think of the Jedi and this like gnarled, like gross thing. You're like, 
Well, that's a Sith, obviously. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. I know you're profiling. Yep. That's me doing that. Can't that, be, that's can't my be Jedi profiling. Yeah. Bad news bears. Ooh, I see Franz in the uh, left the comment too. She says we look good, so oh, she must right. be on very powerful pain medication. Yeah. When are you doing a Princess Leia or General Leia? General oh. Organa. Is that what they ended up calling her? Yeah. Ooh. Call it whatever you want. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool to have. That would be cool. Yeah. There you go. Like, where's Tomorrow she can write that down. And she could have like little steel like buns uh-huh. like on her Mesho helmet. Oh wow. You're already writing it down. <laughs> yeah. I like that episode, The Elder, with like the old, like just decrepit Sith Sith Lord. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Toast that paddle on, and then he's like, the Jedi Master comes. Man, if I were 20 years younger, this would be a lot more fun. <laughs> and he's like, I'm I'm not at my peak. That was quite a few years ago. I'm like, how strong was he then? <laughs> right, right. He was really fast too. <laughs> he was a dirty old guy. It reminded yeah. me of what studio did that one? Because it reminded me of like Ninja Scroll. Uh, like just with like the weird, creepy old guy. That it one's done be. by uh, Studio Trigger, and they've done they did like uh, Darling in the Franks, uh, uh, yeah. Little Witch uh, uh, Academia, mm-hmm. and uh, Brand New Animal. Yeah, it's cool. funny because that style too is uh. So I think Trigger also did the Twins episode, and that one's more like uh, the Promare looking uh, style. Mm-hmm. But it's you can definitely say like there's a difference between both oh, of those episodes. Yeah, like, pretty stark. Completely different studio. No, no, it's the same studio. Yeah, that's Twi- cool. Yeah, yeah, Twins was definitely the most anime of all of them. Like it was like <laughs> it was uh, it was glaring. I was using logic in my thing. I'm like, why are they out in space? Right. They're breathing. <laughs> they should have used the force to grab a star and throw it at each other. They that could cool. have. It was Things, so over the top. Yeah, it was super over the top. But part of me really love that animation like this is cool yeah. i mean it doesn't make sense to me but i will accept its animation the, style the cold vacuum of space was turned off for uh-huh. a moment while they were for fighting that, for that episode <laughs> off switch yeah, yeah it was, was like why does the boy twin have an x-wing x-wings are for good guys yeah mm-hmm. probably stole it i should not know where he got that from <laughs> now you're talking yeah they could be like cool figures too i like oh, to see sure. yeah they're designs with their power suits or something they had a really cool design that I would also like to see him somewhere within a figure line. So I just hope that somebody told the guy driving the ship that there's people outside <laughs> <laughs> to take off. <laughs> there's someone up there. <laughs> what? Now hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's not buckled in. Yeah. Keep st- remain seated in the vehicle at all times. They didn't do a head count. Yeah. Light too, too slow. Yeah. I believe it. And then I also liked uh, the TOB1 episode. Uh, I don't, it just, Kind of had like an Astro Boy yeah, yeah, vibe I, to me. I felt the same. Like the, his, uh, the master and then yeah. uh, T.O.B. one was just, they look similar in style to me. Right. And I liked how they were, he was playing and having a good time. And of course, he just called the whole Empire to come and kill them yeah. all, which was sad. And I really dug that episode. That was so fun. And it was kind of heartbreaking. And like a sort of a Disney mm-hmm. Bambi's mom gets shot, spoiler alert, kind of way. <laughs> I was just like, oh. Yeah. This is sad. And Joshua, I see your comment. You know, it's Trigger. They do what they want. You're right. Trigger does what they want. And, you know, I forgive them for everything they do. Yeah. Yeah. And Science Saru did that one. And they've done, uh, they did Food Chain, the Food Chain episode of mm-hmm. Adventure Time. And uh, they also have a series on uh, Netflix called Japan Stinks 2020. And that's for the the robot episode? Yeah. That was the Toby, mm-hmm. the TOB one. TOB one. Yeah, it's funny. Was... I didn't even put it that it was Toby until someone said it later. I was like, I was like Obi Wan. Yeah. I thought it was like a play on like Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, so yeah. I know. That's oh cute. man, Chris Cooper's comments. But yeah, that one was definitely cute. Uh, the same studio also did. Um, they did the uh, the Akakiri, the last episode, episode nine, where the one guy, the Jedi, turns evil to save the girl at the very end. Spoiler. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I thought that was an interesting one to end on, to be honest with you. Yeah. True. I, w- I was surprised that maybe that one would have been like the first episode they showed, and then like episode nine would have been like a part two. Right. Like a 10 years later. Or yeah. Something like finish that. it out kind of thing. Maybe a season two. There you go. Vision season two. Oh, <laughs> more visions. Yeah. Double scene, double vision. <laughs> yeah. It kind of snuck up on me. Like all of a sudden, I was, it was like tomorrow, Star Wars. Like, so tomorrow, what? <laughs> right. <laughs> and we're all so, once. We're so busy. All at once. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I turned it on. I saw like there's nine episodes. I'm like, oh. We're doing, we're doing like this. Disney. I actually didn't look how many episodes. I just pressed the first episode, and then after it, I'm like, "So wait." Then the next episode showed up. I'm like, "Oh, well, there you go." Your I guess favorite I know what I'm doing. with the band. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I do like that Jabba had uh, has rhythm when he yeah. was to- he was tail tapping. I like this. Yeah, Tatooine Rhapsody. He gets backstage passes. You know, he's VIP. He's like, "I'm gonna kill you," but first, 
I want to hear a sick beat. <laughs> right. Play me the music. It's like that thing people. you do if off camera Tom Hanks had like a rifle and was going to murder them. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have to imagine that was their inspiration. Uh-huh. The guy in a really nice camper wants to put our song on the radio. <laughs> I'm signing. You. We're all signing. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, I'm trying to see who made that one. I'm, I'm not seeing the studio that made that one. Uh, it's uh, then we have the uh, the other one. Was it La Pinocho? That was yeah, like Gino's cool. studio. Had a pretty good dynamic. It ended kind of weird for me. I mean, like it's super open ended, but at the same time, I kind of just want conclusion. Right. <laughs> I'm like, where is she going? <laughs> like, come Off on back, her adventures. <laughs> you know, come back, finish this fight. <laughs> right. Because I need to see conclusion. <laughs> This doesn't go into like more episodes. It's just this one. Right. And she died in like true. Well, she didn't die, but she would have died in like true Disney villain fashion, like mm-hmm. falling off a cliff or of course, in this case, falling off a starship. Uh, and that worked out pretty cool. But she landed on her feet, though. landed on a whole nother ship. <laughs> yeah. She was like, see, ya, take the person was waiting there the whole time. Like, I, know. I will wait right here. Now you just fall right off the <laughs> cliff and I'll catch you. I got you. Safety net. Yeah. Save the flying Graysons. We got you covered. Whoa. I do like that episode too because, like, I think the father had like lost both of his vision. There's a part uh, where he's like, "Now I can't see both." He's like, "Oh man, yeah, that's pretty sad." Now I can't see both of my daughters. Yeah, yeah that was rough. And how he uh, passed on the lightsaber to Lop. Yeah, it's Lop. Lop. Yeah, I have no okay. idea. Yeah, it's not yeah. the official 50, 50 daughter, chance. but yeah, they adopted, they adopted, adopted one. And then yeah. the other daughter was mad. And he's like, "How come you had? <laughs> yeah, well, you had gone and joined like." You know that side, so I kind of had to give it to someone else. I was <laughs> brutal. Yeah, well, he was like, um, you know, it's it's not a birth, it's not like a, a blood right type. Yeah, thing. yeah, she yeah. Was like, something like, yeah, blood isn't based on that. Yeah, that was powerful. It's interesting when you look at the IMDb ratings for all of the episodes. Oh, really? The lowest rated episode. Oh, wait, well, Tatooine or Rhapsody is the lowest rated at five point four. But right uh, right above that is uh, <laughs> is, is, is Toby, like. the I one know. you like. I was what? sad about that. And you know, when it when it started, I kind of had like a big old eye roll thing, like, oh, okay, here we go, mm-hmm. another like kid one or whatever. But I totally loved it from start to finish. I was like, oh my god, this is awesome, very cute. Yeah, yeah. that's adorable. Yeah, the number one ninth Jedi is eight point seven. That's the highest rated. The duel is eight point six, so right below it. Uh, and then the elder is eight point one. Oh, so those man. are the, those according to IMDb. Those are the three best as voted sure. on by the thousands of people. It's like most of them have like three thousand votes and stuff like that. The bottom one, the yeah, Tatooine Rhapsody is five point four, mm-hmm. Twins six point four, uh, Toby six point one, uh, oh. and uh, Akakiri is six point four. A lot of them had sort of the same vibe where mm-hmm. it's everything's hunky dory and then a bad guy comes and then there's a fight and then it's credits okay. <laughs> there were a lot of these were some of the same stories so i can appreciate the tatooine rhapsody being like completely different than all of that yeah because i think like all of them had like lightsaber fights but that was the only one where we're like we'll play music right <laughs> like there was a point where the character was going to take revenge through a fight but said no nah, i'm gonna just play music instead and we'll end off this episode with that. I wonder if the rating is impacted because it came off. It's right after the duel. So one of the strongest episodes. Mm-hmm. And then it cuts to this one. So I'm curious if if we were you know, performing live and we had a set list. If we would do this least yeah. ranked song quote. Playing next. something off the new album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or if it would be more oh. middle of the pack. After you just saw a couple of crazy things and you needed some sort of change of pace. I'm curious if that would have had an impact. Do you Sorry. think it would have been better if you would like the song more? Like it was a more toe tapping banger? I mean, Jabba had a toe tail tapping for it. So, I mean, it wasn't too crazy. But I think you're right. Like, if had that episode been earlier or something, like even, even like the first, I'm like, my, that way my expectation would be like, okay, it's like this. But then the next episode would be really good. Right. And then end off strong. I'm kind of curious what other people are thinking of what the episode should have been aired as. I like where Chris Cooper says that. Also, in support of David, hey, that's me. Uh, that's an episode true. with Akbar deploying the fleet against the remnants of the Empire. Yes, yes, 100% yes. <laughs> uh, that's what we need to do. I'm shocked to learn that Admiral Akbar is one of the more popular characters in Japan. Like, I thought I was the only jerk off who liked Admiral Akbar. And um, the creator <laughs> of Meisho, um, which was Justin, Justin might know his member's his name. You heard it like a million times in your comic. Oh, yeah. It's like Takayuki to. Takea? That sounds perfect to me. Uh, his favorite <laughs> character is Admiral Akbar. And of course, wow. we displayed the Admiral Akbar May show figure at New York Comic Con in 2019. Still hasn't made it to the line. I can't wait. It better happen. You got to make a phone call with him. You got to tell him, hey, I'm a big Akbar fan. You are too. Where is it? Yeah. I want this display. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, question: Why is Marcus angry on Facebook? Ooh, uh, on the on the live stream, we have all these nice comments, and then there's Marcus. Oh no, who's angry? And what I was I curious what we did. Oh. He, oh, he, oh, he got clicked a, on it. Got an angry face. Yeah, because he doesn't oh. like Star Wars fish. He's a more Marcus. traditionalist. He likes live action. He doesn't like the anime. Oh. I did see a lot of people comment that they don't really watch anime when they were uh, watching this, and they thought, you know, I'll give it a try. But some liked it. There was a couple episodes, obviously, that there was two anime. Obviously, like the twins was over the top. Uh, but it was kind of weird seeing uh, those comments. But at the same time, I accept it just because you know it's not for everyone. You know. Right, and but I think there's definitely Japanese influences, mm -hmm. you know, in Star Wars, mm -hmm. you know, the Jedi or Samurai, you know, and I think it really shines through that the most popular episodes are the ones that revolve around the Jedi or the Sith, you know, the to where people would consider like more traditional Star Wars, mm -hmm. but I just think that translates so much better into, you know, the anime <laughs> style, you know, <laughs> you know, tariffs and trade federations doesn't really translate as well in the, in the anime. Sure, sure. <laughs> I always think of what was that game? Was there was there like a hero clicks for Star Wars? Uh, or was there something with a little mini? It wasn't a hero click, but there were Star Wars minis. Okay, and right there on. was like fringe characters. Uh -huh. And I remember we were playing, and you're like, nobody likes the fringe. <laughs> 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 like you don't want to be fringe. And uh, I think that's so funny because like I, it reminds me of like when you're looking at a ballot, and there's like the two prime candidates, uh -huh. and then there's like the one like seventh down. And you're like, dude, come on, right. You're, you're one of them fringe candidates. <laughs> yes. Whose occupations like small business owner slash educator. Right. Like Which that, is you know? great, but it just it's funny how the interest level just diminishes as you go down on those names. Mm -hmm. And so I do think Star Wars can have that problem where it's we want the Jedi or we want the Sith. And then when you have these these fringe characters, they gotta be really interesting to grab people. Yeah. I think that Star Wars hinges on the scoundrel. Mm -hmm. You know, like the original trilogy had Han Solo. He mm -hmm. was the scoundrel and the original trilogy is beloved. The prequels didn't really have a scoundrel. And I think that it's one of the key components that it's missing. I love the prequels. I'm a defender of the prequels, if nothing else for the memes. But I think that <laughs> the absence of a scoundrel really hampers some of the storylines. And then, you know, we get into the sequel trilogy. I think they were trying to kind of put Poe or Finn mm -hmm. into that semi-scoundrel like kind of role. And it just didn't click, um, you know. But then we have people like Cassie Andor who's going to get his own show. He's definitely a scoundrel, and I find him wholly unlikable. Yeah, he kills people. <laughs> <laughs> kills his own guys sometimes. Yeah. Uh, there was a comment from Joshua about, uh, tell us about those Bandai kits there. These guys. Um, yeah, so this is actually, these are going to be available to win uh, starting on Monday around noon o'clock. Uh, it's going to be a TikTok giveaway, so be sure to follow us on TikTok at Bluefin Brands. Uh, share the video, like it, and leave a comment on anything that's Star Wars related, what your favorite character is, favorite movie is, uh, anything of that nature. Just comment on Star Wars. So simple. You will be entered to win. And we actually have six giveaways total going on all next week uh, in the spirit of New York Comic Con. We've got them for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Um, what am I missing? Did I say Instagram? Yeah, the Gleam one. Got the Gleam well. one, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest starting on Monday at noon, you, I guess, our time, Pacific time, uh, we'll have a huge gun plug giveaway as well. Uh, all the giveaways are hobby kits. So the Instagram one is uh, Digimon, right? I love the Digimon ones. It's pretty but, good. Yeah, I know. Uh, wish I could win it. Yeah. You, you, you are not eligible. <laughs> Boy, to sign good. up as J.A. Right? <laughs> yeah, J.A., not Velasco. Twitter, I think, is uh, Evangelion. And then we have, um, we have Pokemon uh, is YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Mazinger's Facebook. Mazinger's Facebook. Yeah, so lots of giveaways. We don't need your giant list, Stephen. I got a little list right here. <laughs> yeah, a little tiny guy. In the magenta. <laughs> Total accident. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Pania Vaswen. Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Uh, wait, Probably. you're a prequel memer? Isn't everybody a prequel memer? I mean, if you love Star Wars and you love memes, the prequels is where it's at. Uh, One of my explains favorite... a lot about me there. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite ones is uh, it's at the funeral pyre for Qui-Gon where uh -huh. they're burning him. And it's Anakin looking over at Obi-Wan. And uh, Obi-Wan looks at him. That's going to be you twice <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one where he said or where anakin asks, is this what's gonna happen when i die and he goes no this is gonna happen when you're alive <laughs> that's pretty funny too uh chris, Co chris cooper asked um if we could have uh, any of the what does it say if you could have a figure made of any character from the series which would it be are we talking about the star wars Visions series i'm imagining so. yeah let's say star wars visions sure oh. you want you want a toby i would love so, like a again, a like... TOB one, yeah, that'd be awesome, dude. Oh. That'd be pretty great, that'd be sweet. And he has little friends, as like his little um, 
Oh, the little robot pal? Yeah, because you know yeah. the tokens always have like those bases with the little knots for uh-huh. you to put little extra things on. That'd be awesome. That'd yeah, be cool. I want the female Sith just because I want that umbrella of death. I was like literally going to say like it's oh. either that with the umbrella or I kind of want that old guy from the Elder just because his uh, lightsabers are different. They're just like two daggers. Hey, he's in a little mech suit too. Yeah. Oh no, so the Elder. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Elder. So he's uh, he's definitely like a lot shorter. So it's figured to be small, but you know. He's a quick looking character, and I kind of want to pose. I can see all the poses I could do with that. Yeah, just laughing at you. It's like an <laughs> evil Yoda. He's like, he's like, let me tell you, this is gonna go, buddy. <laughs> Actually, now I think, now I just say, it, I felt that that he was kind of like an evil Yoda, just playing with him. It's like, yeah, yeah you should, you should have brought your master. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, this would have gone a lot better for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when is that robot chicken sketch with um in sync? And like the like the yakuza come and like kill them all or whatever, and then like yes. then there's like Joey Patone. They're like, we're not gonna waste bullets on fat groupie. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, Joey Fat. Uh-huh. Yeah. So so comments. Let us know what your favorite episode is. We got a lot of like, votes for the duel. We got some uh, el- some votes for the elder. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we even got one for uh, the Rhapsody one. Oh, really? It's got huts. Good for you. It's yeah. got a hut playing a guitar, Justin. I do like that the crowd in that episode <laughs> was all about it. They were like, play another one. Yeah, <laughs> one more. <laughs> Encore. As you see the skiff come up with all like the guards. About with the to go- blast yeah, him. with all the blasters. I'm like, oh, this isn't going to end so well. Right. <laughs> like, in fact, like, before they even did the concert, the guy was like, what is that? Oh, careful, like, chill. It's, it's a microphone. <laughs> right, right. It's like, it's nothing. <laughs> it's like, you know, we're musicians, right? Yeah. That's a lightsaber, too. <laughs> it's both. I want he was that. such a poor Jedi that he had to become like a front man for like a like a terrible garage band. I want that now. <laughs> I now want a lightsaber microphone where one end is the microphone, the other end is the lightsaber. So it's kind of like a little rancor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do karaoke nights. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. And you you dis, you disorient your opponent by pressing that <laughs> button on the side of the metal. <laughs> <laughs> you flip too close to a speaker. <laughs> like oh, I don't like that. And when they're looking at you, you go uh, right, right through their mouth. <laughs> they did that a couple times where they just put the saber on them and then yeah. turned it on. Yeah. I think uh, Elder. Elder did, did that. Yeah. And I, I feel like there was one more that did it too. Maybe I'm mistaken. I think it's the cool. did it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the first episode did it because uh, as soon as I went through the waterfall, she had slashed thinking like, I found you, but uh, oh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Fooled you. Yeah. Whoops. Joke's on you. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the troopers in the duel. Like, they're all like, can I cobbled together like mm-hmm. stormtroopers and stuff like that i could uh, i could go for some figures of those too oh yeah there you go yeah good on that tamashi <laughs> the first uh the first act was bar oh yeah hey, we gotta first bar. get that act bar for uh david before we get these other figures i don't care if you only make one next thing <laughs> you gotta make like six because i know like <laughs> like i said i'm in act bar groups and if i just get the one they'll be very mad at me i'll be like i see what you did there I thought we were friends you have an army of the mon calamari yeah. oh man in a bowl Let's see yeah, Favorite? deep fried duel okay yeah duel's good yeah i really like the duel yeah duel ninth jedi and elder i think uh joshua s and us are on the same page yeah yeah plus your toby <laughs> t-o-b-1 t-o-b-1 yeah that's a good one again i, I just has like an astro boy vibe to me. You know, yeah again the master looked just like uh the professor as well can so... make him it's like a mega man slash yeah astro boy. <laughs> And it was kind of a nice like palate cleanser yeah. after mm-hmm. uh, the ninth Jedi. Yeah. See, and that's and I think that might even be why I liked it so much. Going back to just the the set list, as it were, of, mm-hmm. of needing a second to breathe. I had to. I need a moment to process everything that happened after the ninth Jedi. Pretty intense. I was so sad when his little friends were getting killed, though. Yeah. Oh. You know, they no. didn't. I it wasn't. It wasn't well for us. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think even in that lop episode too, like the little camera robot. Oh, I was like, oh man, no. why? Why hurt the droids? <laughs> that is so interesting how we have those feelings like that. Like uh, we were talking about um, The Last Jedi. I mm-hmm. mean, you can like it or hate it for whatever reason, but um, you know, this Holdo we'd never really met before. Whereas if it was maybe R2 and, and 3PO piloting that ship to crash and to save the day, that would have been pretty impactful. Yeah. I'm mean, like, no! And they're like best buds together to the end. That would have been nuts. Yeah. As yeah. someone who is very sad that Luke Skywalker dies in that movie. Spoiler alert. Uh, I don't think, as a grown adult, I could have emotionally handled the death of R2-D2. Like, <laughs> right. like I was greatly sad that, that Luke Skywalker died, but, like, if, like, someone had an R2, I just, I, would, I wouldn't I would be able to leave the theater. Yeah. It'd just be, like, a yeah. mess. You just have to sit for a bit, yeah. re- feel what you're feeling, and then realize that just happened. I guess I'm going to have to get up and yeah. live life without it. Yeah. Get my pitchfork. Thank goodness that didn't happen, so. 
No, R2D will never die. He's like our dogs and our dads. They you never would, die. You'd be one of those people that start an online petition. No, <laughs> I just put the need to change Star Wars. I would never, <laughs> never, ever in a million years do anything like that. Nor would I sign a petition if someone else made one like that. Yeah. Star Wars is Star Wars. It happens, whatever. But I would just be so crushed as a human if uh, I could see him make R2D2 died. Like, like I remember I saw it and you asked me questions about it. Like, I wouldn't have been able to form words if you'd asked me, Does R2D2 die? Oh, like, yeah. I would have never. I would have never thought to ask that though, because uh -huh. I feel like he's just uh, a staple. Yeah, no he's... maniac would kill, would harm R two at all. Right. Three PO, mm -hmm. we blasted a bit, which cut, took in his head off, melded it with the battle droid. That's fine. He can take his lumps. R two, he's a tough little droid. Yeah. If not, he screams real loud. There's a lot of fun retconning going on with uh, how uh, Luke and Empire Strikes Back when he gets to Cloud City tells R two like, "Hey, stay behind." And they cut to the last time someone told him to stay behind was Anakin and never saw him again. So yeah, that's, that's why sad. I'm oh, like, boy. oh, I don't think that's naturally the reason why. I, in my head, candidate is like, like no, 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 <laughs> right. no, no, I lost, I lost one of you, Skywalker. Yeah, so I'm not losing another one. Plus, he's the ultimate like not snitch. Like he knows everything. everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he's told nobody. Right. And I like how just like there's these moments where R2 where he wants to go his own way because he knows like mm -hmm. he's been there like when they're on Tatooine like yeah. of course we didn't know that but it just makes sense when you rewatch it when he's like no dude let's go this way and 3 was like I ain't going that way he's <laughs> like rocks <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you got wheels dude what are you doing with the rocks <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny and it just makes sense that he just knows where he's going mm -hmm. yeah it's like dude I've, I've been here before yeah relax don't worry don't it's worry it's gonna be okay I got I got to think <laughs> yeah. and then they get captured by the Jawas like good move R2 yeah but uh yeah did you have a fun game, Justin? I did. I have a fun... Oh, did you want to say something? Let's say, like, Nixilla had a good point, you know. I like it that one of the Dark Side users from the Ninth Jedi was actually corrupted by... Oh, it turned small. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but <laughs> corrupted by the other Dark Energy. His blade changed more to a purple after the fight. I thought that was cool because uh, I was like, oh, this guy is the last one they need to defeat. But then the guy was saying, like, hey, snap out of it. You know, yeah. you're not like this. It's like... You're right. My bad. <laughs> I, I was in the mood. Yeah, he, the put mood the wrong, he put the mood saver on. <laughs> I read the room. It looked yeah. like kill all of you. But now the room has changed. Yeah, yeah 100%. I'm, I'm different. That's funny. But that was totally unexpected. Like, oh, he's actually good, but dang. <laughs> yeah. Shame, shame. But yeah, uh, I thought we could... Uh, we haven't done 20 questions in a while. So I thought we could play that. Cool. All right. So... Uh, Chat, if you want to participate. Yeah, there's only uh, two of us there, so we're gonna definitely going to need down for us. Uh, I'll narrow it down to it is Star Wars themed, 20 questions. So you have, uh, ultimately it's 20 questions, but 19, and then you have to guess. And if you guess wrong, then the game's over. So I see. Don't guess too early. Make sure you know it. And you can rely on chat to help you out. Do we have to use a question to ask if it's a person, or do we already know it is a person? Or a character, sorry. Uh, I think we have to play the game and <laughs> figure that out. Or is that our first question? That'll be your first question. <laughs> Yeah, it's this Star Wars theme. Okay. Is this a character? Yes. All right. That's one. Is uh, it... Steven, can you keep track of the questions? Steven, yes. Keep track. <laughs> is it a wink, male wink. character? Well, because we get distracted and we talk and then oh, we the other way. <laughs> we're, we're at 19 already? <laughs> yeah. And that's 20, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Is it a male character? It is not. Ah. Oh. No. Man, it sucks because then you could ask like if it's a droid. Too. I was gonna say, <laughs> is it a living character? I mean, I'm oh, sorry, really for a second. Like, um, trying to ask if it's human, but they're aliens. I don't want to get it. Is it a flesh and blood character? Yes. Okay. That's mm. three. So it's a female character in. Is this character in a? Is this character predominantly known for a Star Wars film? Or Star Wars films? Yes. I'm gonna go with this one. Meaning, like they're not like you wouldn't see them in like the the Ewok movie or like right. The, or it's not someone from the Visions. Ewok movie. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> uh, it's not from Visions. Yeah, or the holiday special. Oh, any of that stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. So Chris Cooper asks, "Can this character use the Force?" No. Okay. There you go, Chris. All right. I know yeah. that this character can't use the Force. Is this character from the original trilogy? No. Whoa. Well, I guess it's only fair to ask. Is this for a character from the sequels? No. Oh, well, then. So, so we, <laughs> wait, how many is that, Steven? Four? Seven. 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 Steven? Four? What's the matter with you? I'm saying seven. <laughs> Steven's against us. killing me here. <laughs> uh, all right, so it is a female non-force user from the prequels. Why is it from the prequels? You said it wasn't from the original trilogy or the sequel trilogy. You said it was predominantly known from the movies. Okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <I can remember. laughs> 
Uh, all right. Right. Keep going down that uh, avenue. That's fine. <laughs> so, hmm. so there's two. So it's either it could be Rogue One, could be it could Solo. be prequels too. You don't know. I do. <laughs> You're like <laughs> I didn't say it was from the prequels. But I asked why was it from the prequels? Is this get, character from get Rogue your One? Logic? No. <laughs> He'll all die, right? <laughs> Spoiler alert. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we'll waste our question. Is this character from the prequel trilogy? No. Okay. What are you nuts? So this character is from Solo, a Star Wars story. Oh, man. Which narrows it down significantly. How many are we at? What are we at right now? That is eight. Are you sure they've asked like 18 questions since you said it was seven? You only asked one. Okay. <laughs> All uh, right, Steven's on your, our side. Your math, your math is sound. Good, good man, Steven. Good man. Uh, so, I mean, females from Solo. So, I mean, we got Solo. Kira. Uh huh. I mean, is, is there any? And then the. Is there another? That one's too. I think it will go with Chris. Is she a bounty hunter? Uh, no. Hmm. She does not hunt bounties. <laughs> okay, so um, I think that character. I mean, I guess we can just ask: Is she, is she a love interest of Han Solo? No. Oh, then... there's only two females I know from that movie. <laughs> That's ten. Thank God, and... goodness, it's uh, twenty questions. So, hmm. Or what's Tandy Newton's? I don't. I, I wouldn't even know Tandy Newton's character's name. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go look at chat now. Oh man. He said it wasn't. Well, I guess it's infinite. Are we count? Infinite? I would count as a bounty hunter, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, dog's a bounty hunter. Is she like, <laughs> is Empty's Nest like dog? She's, yeah, she's like the dog of a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. Um, oh, man. Okay. Does this, is this character. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good Empty Nest question. <laughs> hmm. It's not Harry Potter. It's the wrong <laughs> series. <laughs> um, like someone out there putting a different display of a character <laughs> that's not star wars let's see uh what's the, what's the question we can ask for him does this character lead lead a group oh, of fringe okay. characters from that ride motor air bikes no what no okay i don't know what? these characters now so not, is that what they do <laughs> i mean I got, she doesn't do that no <laughs> how many, right, how so many no questions Kira, left? no infant ness okay uh some of our female characters. I mean, do we want should, should we should we verify that it's solo souls in case we're missing something? Yeah, I mean, we should just is this is it from Star, solo a Star Wars tale? I'm sorry, one more time. Is this character from solo a Star Wars yes. story? Sorry, I was reading this question, I got distracted. <laughs> and there is and there is another female in this. Hmm. Oh man, <laughs> I see Chris he's asked the question, but he's like, Oh, you said no to Kira. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what Woody Harrelson had a little interest in. That's a girl. Oh well, yeah, that's why I say it. But I don't remember Tandy <laughs> Newton's character. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I, I was a like, girl. The, I should listen to the entire question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, is it is it a love interest with Woody Harrelson's character Beckett? Yes. Oh. Do we have to know the name? <laughs> can, we, can we can we give you the actress's name? Sure. <laughs> is she played by Tandy Newton? Yes. I don't know. Maybe that chat character. will know. <laughs> yeah, chat, anyone in chat know Tandy character? Google it up, please, because I, I don't know it. Val, is it Val? Yeah, there you go. Yay. Yay. Thank Thank you, Josh. Josh. How many questions Josh. was that, Stephen? Four. Fourteen. Four. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's one or nineteen. <laughs> winning's winning, Justin. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, that's great. Let me, let me check that math. She was oh, easy because because. Yeah, AJ was concerned if I needed to use my laptop to be able to answer questions, and I'm like, nope, memorized everything because yeah. there's this much information on the <laughs> character of Val. Oh man, it was awesome. I was like, oh, I was an easy character, no yeah. problem. So the fact that there's so many characters in Star Wars already, I'm like, oh my goodness, this could be anyone. But if we knocked out basically if it was prequel, sequel, or the original trilogy, I guess it. I when he said it's from the prequel. I know I, I shouldn't have said anything. I was like, wait, oh, no, we so would have other went down movies. the rabbit hole. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I know. We would have lost. You could have wasted at least three questions on just that. Oh, Twenty whole questions. Know, we would have been done. You yeah. would have said Val. We'd be like, who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Danny Newton. Yeah. yeah. And then I would have been like, yeah. from Solo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thank you, Joshua, for uh, helping out on that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. 100%. Thank you, Chris, also, for commenting. Well, thank you, as always, Justin, for making sure not to choose someone obvious. Right. I know. I almost want to just Luke Skywalker for funsies. <laughs> we would have never guessed it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. Like, it, There's no way you pick Luke Skywalker. Right. You'd never pick the we, we would have, we could have, we his favorite character yeah. ever. We could have narrowed it down to original trilogy, <laughs> green lightsaber, force user, and we'd be like, who else is there? I know. <laughs> Obviously not Luke Skywalker. Oh, man. Well, thank oh. you. Well, anything else to add for Visions, guys? Uh, no, just check it out. Stream yeah, it now. Yeah, Disney yeah, Plus. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Sorry we spoiled it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully you've seen it before you watch this live stream. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our Bluefin Hangout again. What are you pointing at? Like I wasn't going to do that, Stephen? <laughs> like we were going to go to Disneyland and not ride the teacups? <laughs> They asked 24 questions. They're actually like, oh, oh man, we lost. Qualified. We stink, AJ. I'm on a separate team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Joshua. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so thanks for joining us for Bluefin Hangout. Remember that next week, uh, they'll be a little bit different. It'll be about Team Common Rider. So, it'll be with this lovely gent, AJ, and Mr. David Clark, who is not here today. He's well, he would home. be somewhere. He would be in this spot, but yeah, yeah he'll where be over is there. David? I don't mm-hmm. know. He's like, ah, he's like, I don't like Star Wars. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Send hate mail to at Offshoot Comics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, please don't do that. Uh, and of course, remember, next week is New York Comic Con, so we are going to be doing a ton of stuff at bluefinbrands.com. We're going to have a lot of exclusives. If you go to our YouTube page, which is Bluefin Video on YouTube, uh, you can see a lot of our videos that we're going to publish on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that will outline some of the exclusives for the event. We're going to have exclusives from Storm Collectibles, including some new exclusives that you haven't seen before, uh, as well as exclusives from Flame and Sentinel. Uh, and of course, if you're going to be at New York Comic Con, we have the Tamashi Nations exclusive, the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Son Goku, Kaioken, event exclusive color edition SH figure arts debuting at NYCC. Yay! Wow. Nailed it. That nailed is, it. Uh, the blue then, one. Yeah, the blue, the blue <laughs> one, uh, which you can get in person. Uh, but if you're not going to be able to attend at New York Comic Con, they will be available on Premium Bandai uh, shortly after the event. We don't have an exact date. If you follow at Bluefin Brands, we'll definitely give you a heads up when they're going to hit. Uh, those ones will be shipping later on, though. They will not be shipping instantly. Um, all of the allocation for in, in stock items will be at New York Comic Con. If you order it on Premium Bandai, it'll ship at a later date, uh, which mm-hmm. I do not believe they have unveiled yet. So uh, just, just know that. So if you're going to New York Comic Con and you're thinking, oh, to sort on Premium Bandai, uh, there will be a couple month delay. Uh, so if you want in your hand now uh, and you're at New York Comic Con, make sure you pick it up. And then for New York Comic Con, we are doing a ton of giveaways. I've talked for a long time. So, AJ, why don't you run down the six giveaways that we're going to be having? Yeah, so we have one on Facebook. We have on Instagram. We have Twitter. We have TikTok. We have Gleam. And, of course, we have on YouTube at Bluefin Video. Not Bluetooth or anything Bluetooth. like that. Bluetooth. <laughs> so, like, Bluetooth. <laughs> we get that. We're sticking with that. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the one on Gleam, you can go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest and enter that one. Uh, it will be, most of the contests, and all of them will go live. Uh, in the early afternoon on Monday. So check it out Monday. Yeah. And the Star Wars one is on TikTok. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Our favorite of the channel. So <laughs> if you like TikTok, we love TikTok. Just go to TikTok and uh, give us a like and a follow. And you can be one of the millions of people that watched AJ try to guess a Dragon Ball character that's right behind him that he couldn't get. I'll, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. He gets it eventually. Yeah. Eventually he wins. It took two videos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if you're making videos on TikTok, you know, make sure to tag us if you're doing anything having to do with any of our brands, be it Storm, Tamashi, Hobby. There is a lot of amazing hobby builders and toy photographers that have been using TikTok to show some really cool behind the scenes stuff. And um, I'm here for it. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you guys have a great week. I mean, Justin and I won't be here to brighten up your week. So, you won't hear any tally hoes next week. But uh, have a fantastic weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And tally ho, see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. I'll have to tell you how.